Shalawa. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaku Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Blessings to the whole elect. Teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Alright, now, you know, I'm just going to just basically just speak off the top of the dome here, you know. And basically just an open meditation, you know, as I'm driving. You know, I'm at work at the moment. And um, basically, pretty much, I was watching a video of, um, you know, uh, Apostle Aramla and uh, Elder Manatazak. And basically, they, you know, Elder Manatazak had made a point and he said, like, you know, we really, you know, have to have the spirit upon us to literally go against the grain of this society. Now, what does that mean to go against the grain of this society? Meaning, everything that this place stands for, everything that you see when you look around, when you. I sound like Morpheus now, you know the truth is, you know, when you turn on your television, you know, when you go to work, you know, <laughs> but yeah, you know, so lucky I'm a bit under the weather, <coughs> but um, basically, like, everything that you see, everything that's around you, man, you know, the people that are driving beside me right now, you know, a lot of these people, most of these people, they're all in the world, man, all right, and they, they are about what Esau is about, his society, his kingdom, Right? They want to do exactly what they want to do Regardless of what the scriptures say Regardless of righteousness right? And anything outside of the, of the realm of the scriptures Is basically wickedness Okay, Now for a, a bunch of men that actually uphold And that really stand by the word The volume of the book which is Yahweh Shai To go out there and openly testify his name right? And what he stood for all right? And what the word actually stands for And what we stand for Right? You have to understand that the scripture says a man's foes shall be day of his own, own household. Alright? Because remember, the Lord says, Remember, I, I tell you that I have come to, to cause a uh, division. Right? To set a man at variance against his, his family members, basically, so to speak, man. Right? Loosely paraphrasing. Okay, so you're gonna basically not the scriptures speak about not being entangled with the affairs of this world, man. Because everyone is out here in that vibration of that do as thou wilt, do it what you want to do and do it if it feels good, just do it, man. You know. So what you got to understand is you're fighting, you're fighting for righteousness, and you have to make a stand. And what was the, the disciples doing when it was with Yahweh Shai? They were making a stand. They were like, you know, that's why the Lord told them in John seven and seven. He said, "The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify against against them, basically, and that their evil works." That the works they're right they're in are evil, man. Loosely paraphrasing. Okay? So what you gotta understand is you're literally going against the grain of everybody. So basically, in a nutshell, it's us against the world, man. Alright, in an oi committee sense of the word, okay, minus the elect, because the elect are gonna be in Yahweh Shai. The elect, remember, that's why Yahweh Shai prayed for the elect. He said, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, right? Because basically, we're dead, look, we're dead to this world, but we're alive in Yahweh Shai. We're, lay, we're laying hold on, ever, we're laying a hold on everlasting life. Okay, remember it says in John fifteen and sixteen, "Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, man." You know, so we've been chosen by the heavenly Father, Lord. Will we be those men of the elect? And remember, the Lord says what that we should have life and that we should have it more abundantly. So don't worry about everything that's going on around you, man. When people, you know, it seems like the wicked are prospering and, you know, the wicked niggas in this place, you know, they just seem to be getting everything because the demons are working with these people out here, man. The demons are giving them everything they want. Remember, Yahweh Shai, he was tempted by by Satan himself, man. When he went up to the, to the the into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, what happened, man? Satan showed him all the kingdoms on the, on the, on the earth and he said, look, I'm going to give these to you. You know, I'll give these to you. And he tempted him, man. But the Lord says, what, man? You know, basically, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that cometh out. You know, every every word, man. Basically, every word. We're, we're supposed to be living through the word, man. The word is what gives us life. Okay? And that's ultimately why the elect really ain't going to take the chip in the end. Because they're going to rely on the word. Which within that word is written of all the things of old. Of the stories of old. You know, that's why the scriptures speak about... Uh, 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 what's it? Uh, things that are written before time are written for our learning, man. These things are supposed to comfort us in the times to come. Because when Jacob's trouble comes out of here, right, and Esau is forcing everyone to take the chip, you know, it's basically do or die. 
if you don't get down with Esau's society, if you don't worship his image, right, then basically he's gonna cause you to be put to death, you know, or tortured or whatever, man. But you, you know, really the spirit of the Lord has to be on you, has to be dealing with you to basically escape the temptation that, that Satan's gonna come to you with, man. All right, because he's gonna say, look, man, you ain't gonna be able to eat. You can't buy or sell unless you got this chip. So what are you gonna do, then? That's why the scripture says, what, then shall it be known who are my chosen, man. All right, in the end, the elect are gonna be standing stiffly for the name of the Lord. And what's their reward gonna be? To receive crowns from Yahweh Shai himself, man, in the kingdom, man. So you gotta be kingdom minded, man. You have to be, you have to understand that when you look, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget our work and labors of love. Okay, so yeah, we're going against the grain, but at the same time, hey man, much is given, much is required. And because we're standing stiffly, hey, for a person to stand stiffly, man, that means that there must be something that's trying to knock him off balance. All right? And that's the ways of the world, man. And Satan's going to come at you like a roaring lion through different means to try and knock you off balance, man. To try and get you to not stand stiffly, to test your faith. Like Job, what did Job say, man? He said, though he slay me, yet will I maintain my trust in him. Okay? So no matter what comes our way, brothers, you got to understand that, hey, man, when you chose, when you made an oath with the Lord and you said, I was going to join join the camp, I was going to go out there and teach the word, what, essentially what you're saying is, I'm going to stand stiffly for what the Lord for what the Lord is telling me to do. All right? I want to stand stiffly for righteousness. I'm going to stand stiffly for your how about Shemi, how shy. And that's an oath that you, you made to the Lord, man. Okay? And you must pay those oaths, man, that you make. With your how about Shemi, how shy. Okay? Because remember, the Lord says what? The Lord ain't giving us a spirit of fear and, and, and you know, the, the scriptures speak about uh, fear, the, fear the man that can kill both the soul, the soul and body in hell rather than the one that can just kill the body, man. All right? Loosely paraphrasing. And Esau is going to come at you and try to take try and take you out in a fleshly sense, right? But the thing is, once the flesh, hey, once he takes you out in the flesh, the spirit, hey, your spirit goes back to who? The father of spirits, man. All right, we will go back to that one place, back to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, go back to Yahweh, the Father of Spirits. Okay, so what you got to understand is, it's just a transferal of energy. So, and not only that, if you get taken out by by the so-called white man, by Esau in these last days, or by however many other means, man, then you got to understand that the Lord says what that the dead in Yahweh Shai is going to rise first anyway. All right, so these things are supposed to comfort you, man. All right, these things, and it's just a few words, man, that I wanted to say just to lift brother's spirits, man. You know, because you know, I, you know, we're in the last days of the last days, man. And, and things are getting turned up. You know, if you're just close, you're just sitting back. You know, every day, you, you know, you ain't feeling the heat. Then really, you're not in the you're not in the right spirit, man. Because remember, the Lord said, look. <coughs> as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Okay, so if the Lord is dealing with you, then you're gonna have to go through some hardships, man. And it's a beautiful thing because the Lord is doing that to, uh, to to basically build you up, man. All right. That's why the scriptures speak about enduring hardness as a good soldier. Me and the Arkin man over here in London, we did a beautiful video going to like going into endurance and stuff like that, man. You know. So we're in the time of you know everyone's gonna come up against us, man. You're gonna see, hey, man. The scriptures speak about what, and many that kill them. Um, shall think that they do this uh, uh, they're doing a good service man all right so these people are gonna fit that the Lord's with them to actually come against us and take us out okay look what happened look what they did to Stefan man the spirit was so heavy upon him to curse them out wicked ass niggas he called them stiff necked you know he basically cursed them straight out man and what did they do as he was cursing them out hey man they gnashed on him with their teeth and they stoned him to death man all right, so what you got to understand is, man, to go against the grain ain't no light thing, but at the end of the day, it's also a light affliction, all right? And it's not worthy to be compared to the far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory that awaits us, man, all right? When we receive uh, the kingdom, man, and, and that's going to be a beautiful thing, man. Imagine in the kingdom, you're going to be able to say, look, I stand, I stand differently for the name of the Lord, all right? As opposed to a guy that just fell out or... <coughs> A guy that refused to repent, all right? Because hey, man, they're gonna they're gonna be in shame in the kingdom, all right. But as for us, yeah, I mean, we're gonna have a, a certain level of shame. But at the end of the day, we're, we're still gonna receive them crowns because we actually stood up for righteousness, man. All right. 
And really, it's about having integrity and honor, man. You got, don't you have no honor? Don't you have any dignity as a man? Don't you want to stand up for righteousness? If you want to stand up for wickedness, you know, and you want to, you know, join hand in hand with this devil, the same devil that's put you in chains, the same devil that's robbed and raped your people, man. All right, that's basically played played games with your nation for for for, for hundreds of years, man. Doing, you know, having their way with you, with your women, your children, you know, and the men, you know, for hundreds of years. I mean, you want to join hand in hand with these same devils? No, man. All right, we're in a time where the Lord said, "What well, an exceeding great army is going to be raised." All right, and that's a spiritual army, man. And with it, hey, man, our the, our only weapon that we're to use is this word. All right, and it's mighty to the pulling down of strongholds, man. All right, and this word is literally was pulling down Esau's kingdom bit by bit. That's why he's forced to make a move now. That's why he's putting us on front street and putting us out there on the news, uh, the media like that, man. Because why? His kingdom is crumbling. Okay. And he's got no choice because he knows that he has but a short time. Revelation 12 and 12. The devil knows that he has but a short time. He's got no choice but to make a move now. All right? But we are to go against the grain, man. Look, man. They call us rebels. They call us fools. They call us bums. But you know what? I'd rather be a rebel to a wicked ass society and stand for righteousness than join hand in hand with it, man. And be a sellout and be a coon. All right? Because Esau's kingdom is going down And when his kingdom's going down I want to be the one to actually applaud Applaud the fact that his kingdom is going down And that's why I do this as well man Through the spirit Because I like to see Esau's kingdom going down Because this kingdom is wicked right? It promotes wickedness It keeps our people in a state of oppression all right? Our people are bugged out all right? We're the last hired, the first fired We're under these curses And the other nations, they got their foot on our necks too man In league with the so-called white man Okay, like Psalms 83, it tells us that uh, our enemies make a tumult, man. All right, when you read Luke 1 and 68, the Lord said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, man, for he has visited and redeemed his people. When you read on down to verse 71, it speaks about that we shall be saved from our enemies and from them that hate us, man. So we ain't in, look, man, this ain't our rest. Okay, we're seeking rest, but right now we are supposed to do the work. The whole duty of an Israelite man is to fear the Most High and keep his commandments. And one of the commandments is to teach this word, man. Blow the, uh, uh, blow the trumpet, sound the alarm. All right? And that's what we do, man. And because we're going against the grain of the society, Esau's trying to shut us up now. And he's trying to do these fear monger tactics. And he's trying to set up these insurgents, you know, these false brethren, all right, that are basically sellouts, that are basically going to gun ranges and all of that. And, try, and they're going to deem us as terrorists, man. And they're going to come against us in this time, in this last days. All right? Why? Because we're going against what they stand for. They want this place to continue. Because they're getting pieced off by Esau. They've received their consolation. On the contrary, we don't want anything. Remember, the Lord says, Render unto Caesar's what is Caesar's, man. All right? And unto the Most High what is the Most High's. So what you've got to understand is we're separate from the ways of this world. And if you're truly separate from the ways of this world, then yeah, man, you're going to go against the grain. You ain't going to be in league with the wicked. In fact, you're rather going to oppose the wicked, okay? Because you're standing up for righteousness, okay? So that's all I had to really say, man. You know, Lord willing, just some words of encouragement for you brothers, man. You know, to, to, st to stay strong, man, all right? And yes, we, we, we do go against the grain, all right? Yes, we're wise as serpents are by it, harmless as doves are by it, but we go against the grain. Our ultimate message, we're, we're, really, we're saying that Esau's rulership, the elites of their society... <coughs> We're preaching against their, their kingdom, right? Which is basically, in their eyes, they would see that as treason, all right? So what you're going to understand is going against uh, this society, man, ain't no light thing, all right? That's just something to, that I've been meditating on myself. So with that, man, Lord willing, you argue with edified. All praises to you. How about you? shy. By Shabra Kakudash. Double orders to the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Blessings to the elect, all right? With that, I'm going to say shalom.